Andre, I understand it's quite complicated in Canada, the regulatory framework regarding uh, securities legislation. Can you tell us about that? Well, in, in Canada, our Constitution says that there are some powers that are the domain of the federal government and other powers that are the domain of the provincial governments. And the securities regulation uh, falls within the, the domain of the, the provincial governments. And so that means that uh, when changes to securities laws are, are enacted, that they, uh, they come from the, the provincial governments um, in, in each jurisdiction. Of course, we have 10 provinces across Canada. Uh, and because securities laws are so complicated, the, the, uh, the legislature in each jurisdiction needs to rely quite heavily on the Securities Commission in that, in that jurisdiction, which is the, the, the body of, of uh, public servants that has been created to uh, administer and enforce the, the securities laws. And so we, we have a, a quite a, a well-functioning system in Canada where the, the, uh, the regulators work together in a body called the Canadian Securities Administrators to adopt uniform approaches across Canada. Uh, but the, the general scheme of securities regulation in Canada means that, uh, that you have a, a, lot of, a lot of fingers touching every issue. A, a couple of, of overall priorities for securities legislation which is a very complicated area, but there are, are two, two overarching priorities that, that securities regulators uh, uh, always ha bear in mind. And, and the first is facilitating the, the formation of capital for companies so that the businesses can operate and grow. But the, the second, equally if not more important priority, is to protect the public and make sure that, that investors can uh, have confidence that, that when they invest their money, that that money uh, it is not going to be uh, it is not going to be you know taken from them fraudulently. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, that's the overall. I understand that Cat Alliance has a crowdfunding advocacy campaign underway. Can you speak to what exactly is being recommended by this campaign? Well, the the, the campaign is uh, was instigated because the American um, uh, Congress is quite far advanced in uh, enacting uh, crowdfunding legislation in the United States, and in order to make sure that our startup companies uh, have the same tools to access capital as their competitors in the United States, and that includes competitors for growing and. and you know, thriving companies, uh, we need to uh, look at, at whether or not Canada should be picking up on the, the same option. And so the, the first step of that would be for the, uh, the, the provincial legislators and the securities regulators across the country to review whether a crowdfunding exemption should be introduced in Canada, perhaps studying first the, uh, the American action in, in this regard, and then also uh, consulting with the public to, to feel, gauge whether the, the public feels that this would be a, a good alternative.